Let's do another sound check here, Kathy. Let me know if you hear me and see the screen. I just put it up for good. Sound good? Hello, hello. Great. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. Hello again, everyone. Thank you and welcome. This is Online Creator Central. We want to welcome each and every one of you to the presentation today, which will be starting promptly in just two minutes. Melissa Arnold is here with us today. He is the founder of thestockswish.com. We'll be starting promptly in just two minutes. So thank you again, everyone, and welcome. Hello everyone and welcome. Let me get the percussion section. Drummers, are you ready? And to the trumpet. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter for, for today. Please put your hands together and welcome from the Soxwish.com. Thank you so much, Kevin, and thank you everyone at Online Traders Central. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC. And today I'm going to do a lecture on price. The topic is how to accurately read price in charts. This is a great topic if you are a trader or if you are considering becoming a trader because reading price correctly in the market makes a difference whether you make money or lose money in your trades. So welcome. If you'd like more information, go to my website, www.thestockswish.com. And you can feel free also to email me, Kathy, put my email information in there. My email is melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like to reach out to me or email me after the lecture today. 
I also have a lot of videos on YouTube where I've been calling the market and other trades that I've taken in webinars I've done in the past. So why is accuracy in trading important? Well, it is important because the odds are stacked highly in the favor of winners. It, it's not that trading is not one of these things where everybody wins or even the majority of the people win. It's just that's not what it is. The odds are stacked highly in the favor of winners, which means that if you win in the market, if you are a winner, if you are a successful trader, then you can make a lot of money. You will make a lot of money because the winners win big, okay? So the odds are really stacked in their favor. And so many different people are in the market all going after the same thing, which is money. And the ones who will benefit and win the money are the cream of the crop. They are the ones who strive to be accurate and, in fact, are accurate in their trades a majority of the time. Accuracy matters in a lot of endeavors, but it truly, truly matters in reference to trading the market. I mean, it's important to be accurate in anything that you do in any career that you choose but it really is important in trading. So in reference to trading the stock market, accuracy is the difference between winning big or losing, okay? It's a difference between losing a little or maybe losing a lot. It's a difference between having a dream job as a trader, if this is what you want to do, or having a regular 40-hour week job where you work for someone else. It's the difference between having the potential to make a lot of money or just barely making it and never quite getting there. So people who are accurate take trading seriously. Is this you? Ask yourself this. There, I can't see what you're thinking. This is for you. Okay, think about it. Is this you? Do you take your trading seriously? I take my trading very seriously. I always have, okay? I think that's one of the reasons that I am successful. JJ says no sound, Kathy. Can you hear me? Everybody, let me know if you can hear me. Yes or no? Yes or no? Is it just JJ? Can everybody hear me? Yes or no? Kathy says she got me. Is Kathy the only one that hears me? All right, Bolo says yes. Good to go. Kathy, try to help JJ. Okay. So anyways, basically, you know, this is one of the things I think you should think about. Are you taking your trading seriously enough? When you take your trading seriously, you make more money, okay? And even if you are trading, and even if you are making money now, if you take it more seriously, you will probably make more, okay, which is a good thing. So accurate traders make more money than inaccurate traders. Accurate traders make more money than inaccurate traders because accurate traders win and fly-by-night traders end up losing. Gamblers lose, and that's like what I call fly-by-nighters. Meaningless picks and trades cause losses, and so do trades that people take for no reason or just what I call like kamikazes that really don't have a high uh, percentage of working. Trades like that of no thought process and therefore little accuracy, okay? Now, that's not to say the kamikazes don't sometimes work. Sometimes kamikazes work, but they don't have a high level of accuracy. The thought process is just that a thought-out process. This thought-out process happens ahead of time for me. It is in the form of my golden gap system that I use to trade daily. So I use a system. This is how I take my trading seriously. I have a thought-out process I think it out before I decide to even trade a certain stock, not just to enter the trade, but to even take a pick, to even decide what trade I'm going to pick on the day, what stock I want to trade. The more accurate you are, the more you can make. So why is accuracy and price important? It tells you direction. This is a great example of something that I, I actually put out on YouTube before the call happened. That ARO was a good bearish gap on this day. This was back, this is a couple weeks ago, back on the 14th. However, if you didn't know what to do with this thing here, you might have bought it. Now, why do I say that? Here's a great example why accuracy and price is important because this was a short. This was a short. This is a short. And if you don't believe me, just look at the price today. This is the day of the actual move that I called lower, okay? At the time, the stock was around 6 it, It's hit the target. It broke $5 a couple days ago. So you can see now that the call I made on this felt, you know, followed through and worked. Uh, the video is on YouTube. But how did I know? How did I know I was going to do it? And what was the tricky, tricky, tricky thing about this on the day? Well, let's look at it. On the 15 minute, in a row, it did a big bar like this. Okay, here's the opening price today. This is a 15 minute chart. This is the day of the gap. 
the day I called it lower. The stock came down first, bounced off of the target here, rallied over the high. This is in a 15-minute chart. So this is 9.30, 9.45, 10 o'clock, 10.15. And the stock set up then to go lower, and here's where it fell off a cliff. If you did not know how to reprice on the day of this ARO, you might have bought this. You might have bought this. You might have bought it for not just a day trade, but a swing trade or a core trade. And look, the symbol's ARO. This is ARO, Gail. I don't have it on this slide. I have it on this one here, ARO. All right, put it. Cruiser said that was such a great call. Thank you, Cruiser. It was a great call. And honestly, look, it really, not only did I call this as correctly as a day trade, that just ran right to the actual swing trade target. So, you know, the thing is that you could have, you might have bought this as a trader if you didn't know how to reprice right. So you see how important this is. And then let me tell you something else. If you did buy this here, even still, even though it closed right in the day, you said, oh, I know it's going to fill the gap. I think it's going to go higher. It can't go any lower. I know it's going to fill the gap. You might have held it through this little area right in here because the stock did have a green bar here and basically did a buy setup. Okay, this is two days after this. Or you might have killed it here as a long, and then you might have bought it here, saying to yourself, I believe, I know this is going to hold, and it's going to go back up here, and I'm going to make money going long this. You could have gotten sucked into this long here, but it still was a short. So it's really important to read price right. No, most gap trades do not get filled. That is completely wrong. It is totally wrong. And if any, everyone that does my class actually believes that actually knows that for a fact. But without having done the class, you know, I could show you a thousand examples I couldn't show you today. It would take too long in the hour I have to talk. But just take my word for it right now that that's false. Although that is what most people teach out there. I'm really going to talk today about some things about price that are important. And this ARO is just such a great, great, great example. And by the way, so is the market. And I'm going to have that slide here in today of the market. So why is accuracy in price important? Well, because understanding how to reprice is a key ingredient in the success of your trading because if you get into the wrong price, you won't be successful. And if you can reprice accurately, you'll be able to become profitable as a trader. Why? Because making money trading has to do with taking the direction of the trade correctly and at the right price. And if you get in at the right place and get out at the right price, you can make money. So that is what trading essentially is. It's really all basically that it is. You are getting it here, you're taking it off here. You're getting more here, you're taking it off here. Making money on the price moves. That's really all you do as a trader. It's a very, very simple concept. And you'll be able to make a lot of money if you can do this well. Why? Because like I said, the odds are stacked in the favor of the winners. They're stacked. They're actually stacked in the favor of the winners. You got The odds are stacked for big profits if you can get to the point where you're a winner. That's, the, that's why the goal is, is, is so great. It's so fun. It's so exciting. Like You want to do it because the odds are really stacked in your favor if you do it well. So it, it's like worth it to do it. Set yourself apart from the world of novice traders and investors by becoming an expert price analyst and chart reader. And this is about becoming an expert. So experts have knowledge. They do their homework then read information to become good at what they do. And they continue to be good at what they do. In other words, they don't just say, well, I'm good and I don't have to ever think about anything again. No. Every day I get up and every day I read things and every day I do my job. In reference to trading, the knowledge to focus on to become an expert is in how to read price. Focus on how to read it in real time in the form of price patterns and charts. Learning how powerful price can be for substantial gains in the market will make a difference in you making money or losing money, and you want to win. You want to make it. You don't want to lose it. This idea of becoming an expert makes a lot of sense, and so does learning from an expert. I am an expert in price analysis. I am bold enough to say this in front of people here today. And this video is going to go on YouTube. I am an expert in reading price. I read things before they happen. ARO is just one of thousands of examples I could give. And now how did I get to this point? I take my job very seriously. I am constantly doing the work. And I'm committed to being good because it matters to me to make money. So it is imperative to learn what to look for and how to reprice so you can trade to make money. That is the reason you're doing this. Learn what to focus on so you can become an expert. Now, you know, this, I, this idea of becoming an expert, you know, doesn't have to be like something that's not fun. It can be fun because you're making money along the way. The idea is a level of commitment, though. So what is important in the charts and what should you be paying attention to? Well, understanding these price patterns 
is where you want to focus. And you've got to focus on price. And part of this means something else. It means to not rely on needless indicators for your success. Now, here's an example of what I consider a chart that has needless indicators. When I look at this, I want to just vomit, okay? This, I look at this and I say, ew, and I don't want to do anything at all, and I just want to go back to bed and don't even want to trade. This is what my chart looked like. So do you see what I'm saying? Like this looks like, pfft. it looks like vomit on a chart, okay? This is what I'm talking about, about needless indicators. You are, t you don't even know what's going on here in the price. Like you're reading things, like is this going to help you trade? All right? There's something called avoiding redundancy, okay? It's called multicollinearity. It is a statistical term that refers to the multiple counting of the same information. This is a common problem in technical analysis that occurs when the same types of indicators are applied to one chart. This is important, people. The results create redundant signals that can be misleading, and some traders intentionally apply multiple indicators of the same type in the hopes of finding confirmation for an expected price move. In reality, however, multicollinearity can make other variables appear less important, like the price of the stock that you should be taking or not taking at all, and can make it difficult to accurately evaluate market conditions. Okay, so there, there it is, okay? I'm not the only one that believes that this. This is too much. And you've got to get back to the basics. You've got to get out of the cycle of confusion. If you have too much, too much on your charts, you're going to miss the boat. And even if the trade works, you're going to miss it. Because by the time you figure out you get confirmation, 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 it's way gone. I'm running out of half the trade, all right? So get back to the basics. Get back to the basics of numbers. Numbers and price patterns and charts hold the key to making decisions ahead of time to profit and profit substantially in stock trading. Making money in the market involves making timely decisions based on price. And that's why you can't have a lot of junk on there because you won't make the decision in time to get it. Price supersedes everything else, even fundamentals, because it is happening now. Do you want to make money now or do you want to lose? Or do you want to just sit there and do nothing? If you want to learn how to make money now, then you must learn how to reprice. And correctly, reading price action is a skill that I have and that I'm teaching people with great success. So what is happening in the price right now is about how, how you're going to read it. It's about getting back to the basics. That's the numbers. You're going to stop the clutter and the confusion in your read of the price. Reading price accurately has nothing to do with multiple indicators and masses of information overload. That chart was like information overload. It's like information overload to the point where you can't make a decision. In fact, I was talking to somebody today. He's a student. I said, listen, you're making this too complicated. You're overcomplicating it. He said, yeah, you know, you're right. Okay? It's the basics. It's putting it together, though. you got to put it together in a correct fashion. The basics is the information that's right there in front of you. And the power of the information is in price. This is a quote from such a great movie, Wall Street. Gordon Gecko said this. He said, listen, the most valuable commodity I know of is in information. And it's true. And in reference to traders or trading, if you're an individual trader, it has to do with reading price patterns. And this information is accessible to you. It's not hidden. You don't have to, like, Call 25 people to find it. You can go and get the price of a stock almost anywhere. You can go into Google and just Google it, and it'll come up now. You don't even have to have a live platform, although if with a live platform, it makes it easier. It's right there. You have the charts. You have your level two. It's right there. But you can go on so many free sites and see the price of the stock today. What is this? What is Apple trading now? What did Apple close up today? I mean, it's accessible to you. It's not hidden. You know, a lot of people have this idea that they're taking trades and they think it's good, but then they don't. And they take it and they think it's good and they don't. And they question themselves and they question themselves and they don't have what I call conviction. So do you have conviction? You, you probably don't or you wouldn't be here or you probably don't have enough. There's times that I say stuff and I say I have 100% conviction. And, and that's my call right now in the market, actually. I have 100% conviction the market's higher, okay? Sometimes I say these things and you're like, well, it sounds like she's saying like it can't fail. But that's how I feel. That's how I believe. It's called conviction. That's how I take the trade. That's how I take risk. If I can't say I have conviction, I can't take the risk, then it's like pointless. I don't want to risk a penny, let alone uh, what I actually risk. 
When you have conviction that you are taking the trade at the right price, you will be less stressed about your trade. When you don't have conviction, you will kill the trade with wiggles and jiggles. And not only that, you might flip it. I know that people flip that ARO. They went short it. They went long it. They shorted it again. Then they bought it. it they flipped it, which is the worst. This is the worst thing for you to do is to get in the trade, flip the direction, flip it back again, and flip, flip, flip. Read the price in live time and beforehand make the decision. It's a well thought out decision, which is how you trade with conviction. And when you have conviction in the information, you make well thought out, informed, and accurate decisions ahead of time instead of being in fear. You read the charts, you have conviction in the information that the market presents you in the charts. It's not hidden, it's there, and therefore it's real. Okay? Now, here's the chart of the spy. I just clipped this. This is from today. This is the close of today. Market is higher, although many people are short this market right now, thinking that the market did a double top back here a week ago. People are short this market here. People shorted this market here in the second failed buy setup in the lower high. People shorted the double top in the market here. People shorted the market here. People are short this market right now and will get blown through over the high whenever it happens, whenever that is. So here's a great example of something I have conviction in, the market higher, okay? So, you know, what do you do? Do you take a trade? Do you, this is another thing that people will do. People that shorted this will be in it short. Then when it goes over the high, they'll kill it, they'll go long, then they'll short it again at the next double top. I mean, this is how traders trade. It's totally inaccurate. It's not well thought out. It's, it's not something that a professional would do. It's not something an expert would do. An expert will think their thoughts through. They will not take the position if they don't have it thought out. The information is in the form of chart patterns that you want to trade, and this is basically called technical analysis. This is how I trade. It's the analysis of past price changes in the hopes of forecasting future price changes. That's all that it is. It's price. Price and the movement of it, and that's what technical analysis is. This is how I trade. How do you read a stock chart's trend using price? I use a system where I actually rank the stock to determine the directional trend. I do it before the market even opens. How do you choose the next direction a stock is going to take before it doesn't? And how can you tell what direction a stock is going to go so that you can get in the trade to get paid, to get the biggest move, the bigger move, the good move, the really good move you want to get in before it actually does it? Someone is always right and someone is always wrong in reading price. And this ARO is a great example because many people thought it was a short, then some people thought it was a long, then more people thought it was a long, and then it was shorted. So do you see here that someone is always right and someone is always wrong? The thing is about trading is there's always somebody on the opposite of your trade. If I make money today, I took that money from someone else. I was right and they were wrong. That's what the market is. Remember that. Someone's always right and someone's always wrong. So every time you take it, you want to be right or have conviction you are right or at least have a well thought out process to what you're doing because if you don't have it, then you shouldn't risk your money because if you risk your money without a well thought out process, what will be the results? Not what you want to see. So it's about getting back to the basics. Focus, focus, focus. Focus on learning. Focus on the correct knowledge. There's so much money in the market that once you know how to trade well, you have all the time in the world to make it. You have the rest of your life. You have the rest of your life. I know how to trade and I'll know how to trade for forever, forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. No one's ever going to take it away from me and every day I get better. So that is what you have to think about. It seems like a short term sacrifice to have to study something and learn it, but it is so worth it. And many people don't want to do this. They just want the money. They 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 want the, money. the money can come, can come right now if you know what to do or come sooner, come in a week, come in a month, but you have to learn it first. And it is about reading price because this is the most important thing in making money trading because all you're doing when you trade a stock is getting it at the one price and getting it out at the next. And the difference, depending on whether you go long or short, equates to the money that you make. If you buy a stock at $6 and sell it at $6.15, you made 15 cents. If you buy a stock at $6 and have to sell it at $5.95, you lost 5 cents and so on and so forth. So it only has to do just with that, with the price. And I use one strategy when I trade. I use one strategy and one system, and honestly, this is really all that you need. One strategy that you can trade on a regular basis, meaning Monday through Friday, or overnights, or long term. Knowing a strategy you can replicate over and over for profits can change your trading, and not only that, it can change your life, because once you learn how to trade, you can make money to the point that maybe you can quit your day job, 
or do real investments or retire early. The market can offer you a real lifelong career if you have a strategy that makes money consistently. And Golden Gaps, which is the system I trade, are a strategy that work for day trading, swing trading, core trading. ARO is one of those. JCP is one of those. These are overnight trades. They're, they're gaps, but they're also overnights. A strategy that can be replicated for any and all time frames is very powerful because there isn't many strategies you can do that with. Golden Gaps are a powerful strategy and they can help you learn how to read charts, trends, and price. There are so many reasons to learn how to trade gaps that I could not list them all here today. Maybe someday I will list them on a video or in a webinar. There's so many, I couldn't even list them all. There's so, so many. And every day I find another one. So I read price correctly through gaps and using my rating system. I get up every day in the morning and I rate a stock that is gapping. And that's how I determine if I want to do it. So with the right price, you can make money. And it's reading it within the framework, okay? So it requires the correct framework. And that means a foundation. The foundation, for me, how I read it is in gaps. Like ARO was a gap. It was a day of the gap. Gaps are a price change in a chart. That's really what a gap is. They tell you what the price is doing now to make decisions about what to do in a trade so you know where it's going to go next. Should you take the trade? Should you exit a trade? Should you not do anything at all? Taking accurate positions in stocks and trades has to do with the correct framework. Is the box sturdy or hollow? Does the box have a good foundation? If you want to make money, the box must be sturdy. The sturdy meaning the box that is your trade, the box that you're putting your trade in. Otherwise, the contents of the box won't make it there undamaged. So here's a good example. A box that is not sturdy but is hollow, what would this be? Here is stock, this is Fran. This is a hollow box. Now, this is a hollow box because there are setups. There are trains in Fran here on this day. This is back on the 19th. There, this is a hollow box because there isn't a foundation for these trades. In other words, if you shorted Fran here, this was a mess. You would have shorted it here and you would have gotten stopped out. And you wouldn't have made any money. You would have lost money in this trade, and then you really wouldn't have made enough here to make it back. You might have been flat or down a little. This is not a sturdy trade. It's not a sturdy box. It's not a good trade here. Why? Because it lacks a foundation. Here was the day that this, this short set up. It set up in here, but it wasn't sturdy, and it didn't work out well, and it's not something that I would have done and had conviction in. Yes, the stock went right in the day, and if you shorted it, could you have made money? Probably not. It was a shallow, hollow box without a solid foundation. So what I'm looking for when I take a trade is a box that's sturdy. Like this guy here, he's very happy. He's fat too. He's really, really fat. He weighs a lot, and this box is still holding him. This is what I call a sturdy box, okay? This is a trade. The sturdy box is the gap. The stock gap, it closed the night before here at 2087, opened the next morning down here at 19, the stock gap. I'll show you the daily chart in a minute. But there's a trade in here in the morning that you could take, or even in the afternoon, that's sturdy, meaning you feel conviction. It's a sturdy box of trades going to hold, the money's going to hold, it's going to be yours when the market closes at 4 o'clock. The box with the money will be yours. It's not going to fall through a hollow box. Here is the trade in Fran. It was a gap trade. Now, again, what is a gap? The stock closed up here in the night before, opened down here the morning around 19. Closed up here at 20 something, 2090 ish, opened the next morning at $19. So this is the foundation for taking the trade. So the trade, you put the trade in the box so the money stays. You take a trade in here, there's no foundation. And this is what a lot of people do. They just take trades aimlessly and things without the forethought, which, which you need. Otherwise, you have a hollow box, and it's the difference between a sturdy box. And let me tell you something. Sometimes people take trades and they make money in hollow boxes. But it's bad. It's like bad karma. Because then what happens is you keep doing this, and you think that these trades are good. And eventually, they're going to come back to bite you in the butt. Get used to taking trades all the time with conviction. And that's how you gain confidence in yourself to trade the market. That's how you get the conviction. That's how you gain confidence in yourself. That's how you're able to risk your hard-earned money to do this, okay? Zero conviction, 100% conviction. That's the difference. So how reading price can translate into money for you? Well, let's look at some trade examples here. All of them I use when I get up in the morning, I rate my gap. I rate the gap. You get up in the morning, I rate Fran, I look at the gap. I use a checklist to rate it. So here was this day on the Fran trade, okay? This is back on the 26th. 
This was last week. Fran had a really good setup aggressively you could have done early in the morning. Now, Fran had a big rally, but the foundation was there. The foundation was the gap. The foundation was there in the daily chart. So even though it rallied big, it was shortable. Again, to read the price to know to short this, not to buy this. If you wanted to buy Fran because of this activity here, this price action, it was the incorrect thing to do. You would have lost money. You would have lost money in the trade. And you can see here that people did try to buy it. They tried to buy it when it retested the low. Here's a buy setup. This is a buy setup on the one-minute chart. It followed through a barely, barely a smidgen. But people did buy this here. And they got stopped out where? Take it across here. See this bar here to the right? Here's where everybody's getting stopped out. Pi is asking me if I do bullish gaps. I don't, but I call them in the room. You could, you could take the class and flip the system, flip the points to do bullish gaps. Because yes, I can rate them and read them, and I do, but I personally like to do shorts. And I'm just going to say one little thing on the side note here from what Pi said. When you are wanting to be an expert, my suggestion to you is, if you're going to take this seriously, is to become an expert in one strategy in one direction. And after you do that, then you can do whatever you want. But you got to get an expert in one thing. So I've become an expert in reading bearish moves. And guess what? As a result of that, I've become extremely good at reading bullish moves. But I started out focusing, focusing, focusing on bearish moves. But now I can read bullish moves. That's how I'm reading the market. That's how I know the market is bullish. Okay? And if we have time, we'll go over that tonight. It's because I know how to read weakness extremely well that I can read that the market is not weak. Do you see? So you have to be able to understand one thing really, 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 really well, and then you're going to be good at something else just by the natural necessity of you becoming an expert in one thing. Many people flip from thing to thing to thing to thing, just strategies in different directions, and they never get good at one thing. I am good at reading directional trend down and up because I chose to focus on reading down first. Now I am so good at that that I can read the bullish directions because I've been calling the market bullish and I'm still calling it bullish and I like to short. So, you know, it's because I know how to read weakness that I know the market is not weak. Um, Tom H., that is a question for the broker about IRAs, not, not for me. I would contact your broker and ask them that. They'll be able to tell you lickety split. Um, do you ever use options for these trades? I personally do not take option trades. I do the equities, but I know that people are doing that. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later because more and more people are doing that. More and more people are actually doing uh, options, even in the room, even that have done the class, because I'm calling the directional bias, and they're grading the gaps. Now, it makes sense for some stocks. For some others, it doesn't. I personally am not doing that, but I know that people are doing it with success that have done the class, okay? So that's your, your call if you want to do it, Pi. You have to know how to do an option, but I'm teaching the directional bias in the rating system. Okay, so let's get back to this here. So this was a nice trade, but it had a sturdy foundation, which was the box. Entry time is 9.34. Price to enter was 19.19. Stop is over 19.43. The risk was 24 cents. On 2,500 shares, which is $600, this is an advanced risk. This is not something that you shouldn't do unless you have an advanced risk amount, are good at trading, and have a good-sized account. Exit, the first exit is 18.40, which was a target. Total profit, 19.75. This is a 3R trade. 3Rs meaning you made three times the amount your risk, or a little bit more. This is a solid trade, and on a normal given day, this should be your expectation. So if you would risk 100, you would be looking to make expected risk, uh, expected amount 300 on any given day. This is your expectation. Do you get this every day? No. Do you get this a lot of days? Yes. And actually, many days you get more than this. But your goal is three. Okay? So let's get back here. Here, was, here it was. Here was the entry right there. And here's the move all the way down, okay, into the 10 o'clock period. Now, there was a second play in Fran, a second play in Fran that set up this is a five-minute chart. If you wanted to wait, if you wanted to wait, you wanted to wait for the confirmation, you could have taken a second play in Fran here, or you could take the first play, booked $1,900, and taken a second trade. Here was a second trade in Fran. You shorted here with a stop over the high. The entry time's 10, still very good. 
Price is 1889, stops over 1905. This is a 16 cent risk. This is the amount of the risk. In dollars and cents, you divvy it up by the share size, okay? I use hard stops. The stop means that I'm not going to lose more than what I risk. If I take 3,500 shares, the stop goes over the number so I don't lose more than 560, okay? This is how the risk is defined. The risk must be defined. An expert defines the risk properly. Exit is 1720 if you are in this to the low of the day. If you took this late trade and were in it to the low of the day, low of the day, you actually would have made $5,900. This is a 10-hour trade on a late play. 10-hour trade and a late play to the target and beyond, actually. It went through all the targets on the day. So to be able to make almost $6,000, now this is on a day because you were in this in the afternoon. This is, this is when a quick play. It was a late trade. You were up money in it the whole time, though. You never looked back. From the moment that you pressed the button, you never looked back. And you could have kept lowering your stop in this, too. Do you see how if you become an expert, you can make really, really, really good money trading? You would never be able to risk $600 on a trade if you weren't an expert, nor would you be able to determine that this target was something that you could even make at $17.20, okay? Now, here is if you took the play and you just walked away. So not, I'm taking the first play of things to do. You took the trade at 934. Price was 1919. Stop was 24 cents. You took it and you walked away and you came back uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, whatever. You just you had things to do. You came back home. You could have just walked away in this play with the stop in so you don't lose or you don't lose more than this. And you made almost five grand. This is an ADAR trade. So at the original play at 934, if you put it in and put the stop in, you could have put in an OC order out to fill you actually at a target. You could have made almost five thousand dollars. Now why? Because of the foundational basis, which is the gap itself. It's the foundation. The foundation was solid in that. It's the rating system that tells me that the foundation is solid. It's a rating system that tells me I can short a stock that rallies like that did. It's the rating system that I get when I look at the pick in the morning before the market even opens. And that's how you can have successful trades and make this kind of money. Here's another one here. This was NTAP. Another one that's headed lower. Uh, this was back here, you see, on the 24th. Now, it doesn't look like much because it has a topping tail and a bottoming tail, and the body isn't red. It's like a doji. But it had a nice short in here in the morning. And again, look at this. This same type of similar activity here, would you want to buy this? Would you want to fill the gap? Somebody was asking earlier about filling the gap. If you thought that that was something you could do, you might have bought this over the high. You might have bought it on the buy set up here. You might have bought it on the buy set up here. You might have even bought it down here, giving it down to the low. Or here you might have bought it. But any place you bought it, you lost money on the day here. This was not a, a buy. It was a short. And you see why I know people are doing this, and it's not going to work out. And it doesn't work out. Instead, I'm shorting it. Okay? So the experts are shorting this. The novices are buying this. Do you see the difference? Shorting it is the conviction. Buying it is completely wrong and shouldn't be done. The entry time was right in the morning. Again, 934. Price was 36.90 to short it. Stop is 37.05. Again, an advanced risk of 525. You could have taken 3,500 shares. Exit down into the number. This, this was just a huge move very quickly. Total profit, 29.75 is a 5-hour trade, almost a 6-hour trade that you could have made. Let's go back and look at it. You take the trade here, stop over the high, look at the move. You actually never looked back here with this one either. Now, again, would you kill it? Took the trade, you're up. Comes back here, does a buy setup. Are you going to kill it? Are you going to kill it? Are you losing conviction? Are you going to kill it? Are you killing it here? Are you killing it? Are you killing it? No. No, you're not killing it. You're shorting more if you're doing anything. Are you just letting the trade roll out? And, and, it, and roll out it does, and it rolls over a hill, okay? And it's a beautiful move. This is the difference between conviction or lack of conviction. Conviction is the short. If you kill it and kill it and kill it and take it, one minute you're killing it, then you're going long, then you're shorting it, then you're going long, then you're shorting it. You, sh you have no business even doing this then if you don't know what to do, or trading it at all. Trading is serious business. I think people are too cavalier about it. doesn't mean it has to be complicated, but you certainly have to know what to do. The fact is the money is yours once you book a trade. You do, Fran, and you take that trade and you short it. Once you're out and you're out and you press, boom, and you're out, you cover that short. The money is in your account. 
That's the beautiful thing about trading, actually. It's one of those fantastic things about trading. It's yours then. It's yours to trade the next day or cash out of it if you want. So how can you learn how to do this? How can you learn how to trade accurately so you can make money in the market consistently too? First of all, you've got to decide that you actually want to do it. It's like got to be a conscious decision. Not like willy-nilly. Not like a fly-by-nighter. I can tell when I talk to people if they're fly-by-nighters or if they're committed. I can tell when I talk to people they really are passionate, want to make the money, or they don't, or they're like, well, do, 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 do. do you want to make the money or not? If you want to make the money, then you have to be committed to learning how to do it. Focus on the learning and the money will come. When you focus on the knowledge of what to do, how to read price, what to focus on in the charts, and what direction to be taking the train, the money will come. Money will flow effortlessly and easily to you once you learn what to do, how, and when. And I am 100% serious when I say this. I say it every day I get up. The market gives it to me. The market just gives it to me or it doesn't. Then I don't do anything. If the market gives it to me, I do it. And if it doesn't, then I don't. And this is the right way to do it. You trade like a professional. The benefit of what I teach and how I trade is that I focus. I focus on what I'm doing. I do all the prep work. I have it all figured out ahead of time. Okay? That is something that you do if you're serious and committed to doing your trading. And, you're, and the commitment is that you really want to make good money. Like, not just wigglies, jigglies. Like, you want to make serious money. And to be able to make three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 in a day is serious money. I don't care if the trade takes five minutes, ten minutes, or six hours. That's a lot of money to make on a day at a job, okay? Physicians don't even make $6,000 in one day, let alone one-on-one -on -one trade. And when you took that trade, you were never down. You were never down. So how do I do this? The Golden Gap Rating System is a checklist. It's a 26-point checklist. I go through the checklist. Check it, check it, check it. And then I add them up. If they add up to be 20 or more, I will watch the stock to trade in the direction of the gap. For the bullish side, you're doing the bulls. You rate the gap and flip the points to the upside. For the bearish ones, you use the system. And if it's 20 or more, you use it to the downside. Is this method suitable for a daily chart trader? I'm using the daily chart, JJ. That's where I have all the points. All the points are on the daily chart. So the answer would be yes. I'm looking for a daily directional bias. I'm looking for a daily directional bias. That's how you can use this to take swing trades or core trades or overnights. It's a daily directional bias because that's the weightiest chart to make decisions on the price of stocks. I'm taking entries on the one minute chart, which is how I'm getting the correct risk to reward. Do you see? I'm making my decisions on a bigger time frame or in the daily chart when I rate the gap. That's how I'm choosing that I want to do Fran or this or that. Then I'm honing it down very specifically and accurately, by the way, on the reading the price on the smaller time frames, on the 1, the 2, the 5, the 15 minute, to take my entry with my stop. Okay? So that's how, that's how you get the risk to reward by taking it on the smaller time frames for the entry. All right? But you're using the daily to get the directional bias, and that's the correct thing to do. Again, good question, because again, if you, are, if you are taking, for example, Fran from the first example of the hollow box, if you're just taking a 15-minute sell setup, if there's no box there that's strong with the foundation of a highly rated golden gap, there, that is a hollow box. So that's why you can't just trade on minutia time frames without looking at the daily. Very good question. So, the rating system measures gaps by rating them on the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, number two, a big move in the day, number three, early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10, and precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target potential, because that's what you want. So, the 26 points read the direction of price, which is the direction of the daily chart. Uh, how frequent do these bearish and bullish gaps occur? Well, again, I'm only doing the bearish ones myself. I see the bullish ones in the room in the morning that I tell people that if I like them, but I'm personally only doing the bearish ones. Are there days where sometimes you don't get gaps that rate 20 points or more during a month's time? The answer is yes. In earnings season, you won't get that. In non-earnings season, you may have two or three days where something doesn't meet the criteria and therefore you will not trade. Now, if you want to do both sides, both directional biases, Bill, bullish and bearish, 
there's, there's probably actually might not be any days you don't get anything. But I really only do to the downside. So there's days where I don't take a trade. It's usually during non-earning season. In earning season, though, there's so many gaps to do all the time. You know, there's stuff to do every day because there's just tons and tons and tons and tons of gaps. But actually, if you wanted to do both directions, you probably would find something every day that rated well. But every once in a while, you might have a day with nothing to do, where the market's sideways and there isn't any good gaps. And then what is the correct professional expert choice? What's the highest choice that you would make? You would turn off your computer and you would go back to bed. You would not trade that day, okay? You just wouldn't trade. It's not a big deal. There's so many of them that work so many days that if you even would, wouldn't train two or three days a month, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. You have to lessen the losses. That means you trade quality. And that means if it doesn't rate based on the system, then you just can't trade. And talking about a system, a system works together, meaning in conjunction. A system is called a system because it works together. A system is not one thing or two things. It's a combination of things that work together. That's why you have to have the sturdiness of the foundational box, the trade goes in the box. The box is the gap, then the trade goes in the box. The box is the golden gap that raised 20 points or more. It's a nice, beautiful box like the cat sat in. It holds a lot of weight. And then the trade, you put it in the box, okay? All the parts work together. So trading successfully is not about doing a trade because it is happening in a vacuum, which is what most traders do. A system is a combined mechanism where all the parts work together to create successful trades and profits. A system works well when it has a solid foundation, which is, for me, gaps. And the foundation in my system is the Golden Gap 26-point rating system, which pinpoints directional bias accurately on the daily chart. So to get the proper education, you've got to put a plan of action in place. If you want to be at a certain financial point in your life, making a certain amount of money six months from now, a year from now, five years from now, do a 10-year plan if you want to. You've got to figure out how you're going to get there. What is the action that you have to take to do it? Okay. So I teach a class. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. It, I teach my system. I teach what I do, what I do every day and have done for over five years. The Golden Gap Course teaches one solid strategy to trade gaps effectively by reading the side of power in charts. The course teaches how to read support and resistance to take positions in the right direction. The course teaches a more proficient and advanced way to read charts, focusing on technical analysis and gaps, which is reading price. And the course teaches how to get conviction in your trading in the market as a source of wealth, because really that's what the market is for a very few amount of people, but it is a source of wealth for few. And you could partake in that if you want to, if you want to be committed. I'm looking for what institutions are doing the positions, and this is how I'm getting the consistent daily profits. What are institutions doing with these stocks? Are they buying them? Are they selling them? Are they shorting them? And then I look to see that, when I rate the gap of the daily chart, and then I know what to do with it, or, or to do nothing at all. So the Golden Gap course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day, which helps you focus. This is your plan of action. Otherwise, you get up and you have no idea what to do or what direction to trade. This is the plan of action. This is your trading plan. This is the foundation of it. The course teaches what direction to play the stock. It also teaches you how to play the stock on the live day and take the entries and exits. The class teaches you how to read institutional positioning in stocks, which is how you're getting the volatility and the momentum and the volume. And the Golden Gap course teaches you how to day trade gaps. Once you learn how to day trade gaps, you can take longer term positions in stocks or use them for directional option positioning in the right direction. This is what somebody had asked about this earlier. I think it was Pi. The interesting thing is when you know how to day trade well, you can do it all. Many people go the opposite route. They try to learn this thing and then somehow get into the day trading. And then it's like, then they have to relearn stuff. If you learn how to day trade correctly, you can do it all, okay? The problem is that many people don't start from that or find it difficult to start with that. And then they go and flip to a different thing and a different thing, a different thing. And it all leads them back. You, they, it always leads people back. It, everything always leads people back to exactly what the stock is doing on the live day in live time, which is basically day trading. Okay, everybody, all the past, all past lead back to live trading on the day, which is when the stock is making the move, when the actual movement is happening, which is happening right now. So you could be in something for a long-term swing trade or a core trade or an option, but all past lead back to day trading. It's one of these things that people start doing it, they find it too hard, then they go to something else, something else, and the, the path leads them back to it anyways. 
The people that start out foundationally day trading first actually I think are better off and sticking to it. You got to learn how to do it right. I, I Gaps is the method that I use to do it in my rating system. But all paths lead back to this because the live trading that happens each day in stocks matters. It matters no matter how you're doing, how you're in the position, what your term is or what it is. Because you might have to make a live decision on one day in a position that you're in, even if it's an overnight or longer term investment. And if you don't understand daily moves of stocks, you will not be able to make a correct and accurate decision. So there's a reliability in the system that I teach, which is how I have conviction. This is me when I have the conviction. It's a very happy feeling. And you make daily profits now when you day trade. Because after you book the money, you're flat. It's there. It's in your account. So learn how to reprice from a person who takes trading seriously. And that is me. And most people that know me know this anyways. Remember, though, the commitment comes from you. It is possible to become an expert in reading charts and price accurately, but it takes learning how to do this from a person that knows how to do it themselves. It takes learning from a person that is doing it, too, which I am. I am an expert at reading price and charts accurately, and that is how I can predict the movement of stocks in the market in the right direction on a regular basis. I predict price moves in real time, and this helps to profit now, and this is the right way to trade. Many traders lose sight as to what they need to be spending their time focusing on when trading. Remember those charts that I showed you earlier with too much information. And one of the biggest issues that I find talking to people is that many traders lack commitment. They think they're committed. They think that they are. They think that they are, but they're not really. Why? Because they really don't want to do the pre-work. Okay? Or what is the pre-work? I'm going to focus on the knowledge. Knowing and believing and having faith that if I do the right things and take the right actions, the money will come. And it'll come way faster if you think like that than if you jump into it hog wild, try to make a million dollars in a week, fail to do that, which you will, and then fall back on your butt. you got to look at this as a commitment. It doesn't have to be the rest of your life. It doesn't have to be years. It doesn't have to be any amount of time. It just has to be the fact that you know that if you focus on the knowledge, you're going to be able to do it well. And then guess what? The market will reward you. The level of commitment involved is learning. That is the commitment. I have no idea how long it's going to take you to do it, but I know it'll be a lot shorter if you're committed on focusing on the knowledge rather than the money because the money will come after that. Learning what to do, learning how and when from someone that knows the language of charts is, is how you're going to get good. So empower yourself today. We live in a world where things are changing so rapidly, faster than we can even keep up with them. We can barely even keep up with our own lives or our emails or anything, okay? You've got to empower yourself today to train because before you know it, you might be in a situation where you wish you knew how, okay? You wish you knew how to make extra money in some other fashion or a secondary source of income, and then it'll be too late. You'll say, gosh, why didn't I do that? Gosh, I should have done that a year ago. I wanted to do that class six months ago. Why didn't I do it? I'm telling you, time is moving faster and faster. You can almost feel it on the planet. The Golden Gap course is a complete system to trade. It teaches you how to pick the right stock, in what direction, how to take the entry, the exit, and the targets. The class is called the Golden Gap course. It is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free, and the class is online. You can live anywhere in the world and take the classes online. I talk and teach. You write the questions. I answer the questions there when I see them. And everyone participates with the questions, and I answer them live. So you can be anywhere in the world to take the class. It's from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. this coming weekend, April 5th and 6th. The cost is $2,499 U.S. dollars. It is a professional bearish gap system. If you are interested in the class, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Kathy, if you can put my email in the room there. I'm doing a bonus day. I had actually got this idea from someone that said, gosh, why don't you do this? I did one of these last year. So here I'm doing it now. I'm doing a special bonus day three. So the class is Saturday and Sunday. I'm doing a bonus day on Tuesday, April 8th, where we're going to do live trading, and then we're going to do rating reviews in real time. This is going to be beneficial for all the current students and also new people too. So it's really going to sync everything together for the new people that do the class on the 5th and 6th to have the bonus day. I had great success with this last year, so I decided to do it here in the spring. Earnings season for second quarter starts in April. So there's going to be a plethora of gaps. And now is the time to trade in the busy season here in the spring to trade and make money. Trading gaps. There'll be tons and tons and tons of them. So this is a special bonus day. 
I also am doing another class at the end of April, which is called the Trends Course. It's April 29th and April 30th from 12 to 4 Eastern Time. The class of this class, if you're interested, is $9.99. This is a course on how to read trends and stock charts. You can email me at melissa at the if you're interested in this. This is more about longer term uh, reads on charts. And I'm doing a special in April. Uh, this is got was very popular to do both classes for one price. The cost is $29.99. You can do the Golden Gap class and the Trends class for $29.99, so you save $499. So you can do the class this weekend, the 5th and the 6th. You get the bonus day on April 8th, and then you can do the Trends class, which is at the end of the month. Okay? All right. So contact me for more information if you want to learn how to train. My email is melissa at thestockswish.com. Remember, spring is almost here. It's a great time to trade. There's tons of earnings out. In second quarter, there's going to be tons and tons and tons of gaps. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. Does anybody have any questions for me? Any questions for me at all? Here's my email. Any questions for me here today from anyone? Any questions about gaps? Any questions about the class? Any questions about the market? Any questions at all? Thank you so much for having me, Online Trader Central. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, everyone, for coming here today. I know this is late. Where do you find gaps, Gail is saying. Gail, you can find them at so many places. They have free sites out there. I'm going to put this here in the room. You can go to these sites here. They're free. There's some good sites and they're free. But by the way, this should be on your platform. If you have a live trading platform, you should be able to find gaps on there on a scanner. It should be included in your daily platform or you can also purchase a scanner. Gifted trader is saying, or when I mention them in the morning. That too. That's true. You're welcome. Thank you. There's two other sites there that you can find them. Well, I don't know what to say then, Gail. Maybe you need to get a scanner. You need to get a scanner then. If you're missing them, uh, then you might not have a good platform that gives you a good pick list. Those free sites, you can get them, or basically you're looking to getting a scanner. Scanners cost money. Uh, I used to have a scanner, and then I felt like it was duplicate. It was like overload, overload. But honestly, if you're missing stuff, then you need to get a scanner. G2 is saying, how long does it take each morning to do the 26-point checklist? Well, for me, it doesn't take long at all because I'm doing it for so long I could do it in my sleep. For somebody that's brand, brand new, I'd say you have to give yourself between five and eight minutes, okay, per pick. But that's more than enough time. You should be able to do it, though, in five minutes. So that's the prep work. In other words, you're not rolling out of bed and trading at 930. You have to prepare. You find the picks, then you rate them. If you're brand, brand new, it's probably going to take you between five and eight minutes. Okay? Yeah, there's a lot happening in the opening, so you have to do it in the morning beforehand. But that's where this, this idea of that accuracy counts. It's really challenging to be accurate if you don't have all of the information. In the morning, you have the peace and quiet of yourself, and you had plenty of time to gather the information. You're gathering it up in a bucket, and you're putting that bucket beside you, okay? And the rating system is what you're, what you're doing it with. So you have all that in there, and that's how you're getting conviction. You're, you're prepped and ready to go. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't sometimes trade on the fly, but it's really not advised. And the only reason that I will trade maybe a gap on the fly is because I'm doing this for a long time, but I do not advise people to do that. I also can tell, I can tell with my eye that something's good or not. And that's because I have a good eye now for reading charts. Could you get that eye too? Yes, yes you could. But ultimately, every day I get up and I do the work. Could I skip the work every day? Sure. Do I? The answer is no. I do it. Whether it takes me five minutes or six minutes or two minutes, I do the work. It pays. You're not rating 250 gaps every morning. It's not like that. Okay? There's certain criteria that 
you are looking for and you make a watch list and then you rate those picks. So you might rate on a non-earning season day two or three gaps. In earning season, you might rate four to six gaps, which sounds like a lot, but those are the days you could, you could, you know, take several trains if you want to. You could take more than one gap at a time. I usually only do one at a time, just because I'm taking size and I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing when I'm taking the size, you know, and I'm also calling the live trades in the room. You know, I'm talking at the same time I'm taking it. That's that's a lot, okay? But you could take more than one trade, more than one gap. If they rate 20 points or more per the criteria in the setups, all right, you certainly can do that. Me personally, I usually am only in one at a time. Every once in a while, I'll do two things at once, but that's not that often, okay? Uh, how much is the chat room? Gifted Trader, the chat room is $200 a month, open only to students who have taken the GAP course. So after you take the GAP course, you are eligible for membership in the room, which is $200 a month. No one is in the room who has not done the class. And you know what? At the time that I made that rule, it was like intrinsic that I made it because it was the best decision ever because it focuses people on learning what to do. Otherwise, people get obsessed and just want to call, take my trades that I call. And that isn't the right way to trade because you have no idea why I'm doing it. You don't understand it. And so how could you possibly have conviction? Well, you might have conviction in me, but the idea is to get conviction in yourself. And the idea is to get conviction in the stock and the gap. And by golly, you have to have conviction in yourself. I, I admire and am grateful that many people have conviction in me to take my calls. But ultimately, it is up to you to empower yourself to do it. You must understand the reason you're taking trades and risking your money. It's your money after all. And that means you got to learn it. Okay? <laughs> all right. Any other questions before we go? Any other questions from anyone? Thanks so much, everyone. I'm going to put the video on YouTube later this evening. If you need anything, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. You're welcome, Gail. Thank you. Thank you, Philip. Everybody have a fabulous evening. Have a wonderful night. Look for the market to gap up tomorrow or gap neutral and be bullish. Good luck, everybody. Email me if you're interested in the class this weekend with the bonus day three or the April combo class special. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. You're welcome, John. Have a good one.